So hi all, uh, today we're going to learn a new tool called the Power BI by Microsoft, uh, which helps in visualizing the data. And it also uh, provides insights from the underlying data. So this is the landing page of the application. So as you can see here, there are multiple ways of importing the data, either from Excel or from any of the SQL servers. Let me import the data from the Excel sheet, which is our uh, city and corresponding population. Uh, we had used the same data set in one of the earlier exercise in the course. If you can remember, this is the uh, sample data, which we can have a look at. Let me load this data. So what happens is once we uh, load this particular data, it is available now for uh, Power BI, where we can play around uh, with the different columns within the data. Uh, we uh, we can we can split into three sections. Uh, this is basically the visualiz uh, visualization area where the graphs or any of the insights are going to appear. And these are our different filters, uh, different uh, filters we do have here where we can filter the data on which visualizations are appearing, the different charts, and finally the fields. So let me select a couple of fields and see how it generates a graph automatically. Let me quickly select the UN 2018 population metric with the corresponding city. So as seen here, the city-wise split had appeared along with a bar chart just by clicking those particular columns. So we can even apply filters on this data set straight. So as seen here on the filters column, the city is selected. So let me, uh, for example, let me select all and let me just unselect uh, Tokyo. The expectation is the first bar has to disappear. So as seen here, Tokyo has gone now. In case I'm selecting it back, the data is back. And the best part about uh, uh, the Power BI is we do get an automated uh, summary of the data we have selected and the graph we had generated. It's at a simple click where I can just right click on this graph and select summarize. So what essentially it provides us is information uh, which can be drawn as insights from this particular graph which we are looking at. So as seen here, it provides us, for example, Tokyo is having the highest uh, uh, UN population estimate, whereas uh, Guadalajara, hope I got the pronunciation correct, it has the lowest population. So uh, similarly with respect to uh, the second, it's Delhi. And if I'm clicking at Delhi, we get the uh, metric on how uh, actually it has been accredited. And also on top of that, the user has the control to add his or her, her own metrics on the summaries. For example, if I, if I need to get the total uh, count of the cities in this particular data set, let me quickly type total count of uh, cities. And to get the value here, all I can do is just press a value here and I can ask a question. So let me see uh, the count of uh, city. So as seen, the result has come straight away. So it's a kind of interactive way to uh, generate our summary based on the questions we ask. It's more like a chatbot. If I'm quickly pressing it as save, as seen here, 81 occurs here. For example, if you want to look, get this city which is having the highest population metric, let's say the Tokyo one. So. Uh, city with the uh, highest population estimate. I can again uh, just go for press the value. And if I can just give uh, city with highest the population estimate of you see the Tokyo is coming up. And here it is. So in this way, it, we can generate the uh, in addition to the uh, auto narrative which got generated the summary. The user can also add or customize it based on his requirements with the underlying data. So in case if we are deleting a particular record in this data set, will the narrative generated get generated accordingly? Let's check that option as well. So on my filter, let me select all and remove Tokyo. Now Tokyo is removed from this particular uh, graph. And now if I'm giving summarize, so as seen here, oops. so 
So when compared to our earlier metric, Tokyo was having the highest population estimate. Whereas now it's showing Delhi because we had filtered out the uh, Tokyo data point. So in this way, Power BI kinds of uh, generates the graphs at one go automatically. We can also generate multiple graphs. For example, if you want to look at uh, the uh, this population estimate by country metric. So here we go. It's just plug and play. If I give summarize, we do have the corresponding data points getting generated based on the graph. And also we can specify uh, there are location based uh, visualizations as well. For example, if I'm selecting country, so the country names get plotted according to uh, the metrics we have and the city names. For example, as seen here in India, we do have multiple cities. So Ahmedabad is one among them. So this way, Power BI provides us multiple visualizations and narrative generation where the user has control in order to add his or on her own points as well. Thank you.